is up everybody the hunter gt with the hunter gt.com that's right go check out the website what is going on today back out at the old park the bottle cap infested park isn't quite as large as the other park i normally hunt it's about one tenth the size but this is the oldest park in town turn of the century and let me tell you there are more pull tabs crown caps twist tops than i have ever seen at any other location in my life as I was getting out of my car over here, these guys that are back here by the tennis courts over here, they were pulling out 12 packs of Bud Light from their cars as I got out of their car. And it's 8 in the morning. It's 8 in the morning and there's guys here that are going to be drinking, throwing their bottle caps around. It's bonkers. It's bonkers. Multiple silvers, multiple good finds here. Gold, silver, all sorts of rad stuff at this park. Hopefully we get lucky today with this here detector. Look at that bad boy. The XP Deus 2 is the detector of the day. Want to pick one of these bad boys up? Who are you going to contact me? Of course, the Hunter GT at gmail.com is my email address. I would love and appreciate your business. I am a dealer for all of those rad companies you see down on the bottom of your screen. Super excited to get this one going here today. I'm going to be playing with settings in just general mode, park mode. Um, you know, I'm going to be fiddling today here and there, so I don't expect much. I don't expect to come out of here with five silvers and five gold rings. Oh, got the deus too. Everything's going to change and coins and everything's just going to pop out of the ground. Well, we all know that's not reality. Um, is this a very, very good detector? I sure hope so. I think so. And we're just going to leave it at that and see how it does here in the next couple of videos. And I hope to have the review up by Valentine's Day. I need about two weeks of time, I think, with it. And then I'll be able to have a proper review up. So keep an eye out for that Valentine's Day video, give or take a day or two. There you go. Without further ado, shut your face, the Hunter GT. Let's go find us some stuff with this Deus 2. Well, first official credible find with the Deus 2 Amazonian woman's toe ring. I found yet another one. This is like my fourth one. Just found that. Look at that little spoon. Little baby spoon. It's aluminum. It's real light. I thought it might be silver for it. I was like, nah, it's, it's way too light and it's too dirty. Everything's sticking to it too much. It says made in USA right there. Definitely not silver. Not that anything made in the USA, it can't be silver. That's not what I'm saying. All right, sorry about the highway noise. Hopefully you can hear this. Got a 93 high tone. All right, shallow penny, about two, three inches maybe, 72 right there. What is that, guys? That ring up super nice, deep. Seven, eight inches or so deep. About seven inches. Ring up nice. What is it? Some sort of electrical device? Back in the day, old fuse, old thingamabopper? Come on, comment section. Don't do me wrong. All right, I'm going back and forth with the square tones. They sound like an Equinox tone, basically. Hopefully you guys can hear that. There's the XY screen. It's a 93, 94 on the ID is top left. Ground phase is top right. The 87 is my ground balance. 80 or 90, that 95, top 93, top left. That is the ID. So ferris or non-ferris, non-ferris are upper right, lower left. Ferris is upper left, bottom right. So ferris is this way. Non-ferris is this way. I'll tell you right now, the XY screen, just like the Equinox, um, this Deus 2 loves screw caps, not crown caps. I'm not talking pop-off crown caps. Screw caps from wine, you know, cheap wine bottles and 40 ounce type beers, the screw off types, it loves them. I, even on bottle cap rejection five, it rings them up high tone. XY screen is like this. I'm going to show it off in a different video with some silver and stuff like that. It's pretty interesting. So anyways, there's a decent line. It's a little back and forth everywhere, but that's a decent target, I think. However, some deep bottle caps are rung up like that too. So let's find out what this, this is. Sorry to waste so much time. I'm trying to explain stuff. First day is video, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. 
Well, it was that, about seven inches deep right there. So as we saw on the XY screen at depth, it gave a pretty decent signal. It was up there in dime penny range and above, in between dime penny and a quarter. A dime penny is 91, 92. This was ringing up 93, 94, 95. So right in between a dime penny and a quarter. And it looked pretty good on the XY screen. Let's see what it does right here on the surface. So look at that, pretty good line, 94 still. As I rotate it, it's still a pretty good line. So I don't know if this is more towards just ferrous targets that cause a crunchiness. I've dug a lot of screw caps. Like I said, I haven't dug a bottle cap, a crown cap. I haven't dug a crown cap. I've dug bottle caps, twist offs. They're both bottle caps, I guess. Technically, you want to get down to semantics, but I haven't dug a crown cap yet. So I will say it's, it's pretty similar to the Equinox in that respect. Crown caps are pretty much just out. However, it's ringing up a lot of twist caps, and that's something that, like the Amphibio, the T2, they put down in the zinc penny and below range in between pull tabs and zinc pennies, that screw cap range. However, those single frequency machines like the T2 and Amphibio get a lot of crown caps, so it's a trade-off. It's almost like the Equinox and this, these multi-frequency machines trade off crown caps for screw caps, which may suck in your condition or your scenario. Um, but yeah, I, first day still, I'm not making, you know, any conclusions or anything just yet. I don't know if a different mode I'm in. I created just a program called AAAA. It's general mode with some tweaks. So every time I reset it, it doesn't, you know, reset the settings or whatever. But I, I'm running in general mode right now. I don't know if different modes are going to change that XY or change anything. So, you know, grain of salt, grain of salt, first video, all that good stuff. Sorry about the traffic. I hope you guys can even hear this right now. The highway is super busy right now. Look at this fence. Look at these vines growing into this tree, or this tree, vines, tree type thing growing into the fence. Spit it out, you idiot hunter GT. It's pretty bonkers, huh? It's like wood just growing right through the fence there. Pretty bonkers, pretty bonkers. All right, anyways. Nice high tone, somewhat shallow I think, but that line's pretty good. Might be big. I thought it might be a quarter at first, but now I'm thinking something else. Trash. Hey, yo, all right, I like digging these. A dollar coin, right there, one dollar. That's four quarters in one coin. If you guys know math, you know that that is four quarters in one coin. That's good stuff right there. It's, you know, it's the little things in life that make you happy when it comes to metal detecting. If you can get a dollar coin in one hole, you know, that, that's, it's like a coin spill in itself. It's like four coins in itself or ten dimes. I just found ten dimes in this hole, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this is a coin spill if you think about it. If you really think about it. Found that little silver plated copper ring. I think it's silver plated because the silvery spots were pretty clean and I had to rub dirt off on all the copper spots and uh, it was copper underneath. No mint mark or anything, so definitely not real. It's super fake. Light copper ring. Silver plated copper, I think, with some uh, glass cubic zirconi plastic ice in it. There we go. I wish that was real. On to the next. Well, tell me that doesn't look silver, right? Tell me that doesn't look like a silver quarter. 1971, so it's clearly not. Almost 1967. Only three years off from a silver Washington quarter. Oh well. Those are the breaks. I got a quarter signal, I think. Ninety-four. A little under a quarter. 
and it's iffy on the line the way it goes up to the ferris side in the top right corner the way it bottoms out or rises up onto the the ceiling line there that's an iffy target so we shall find out what it is just an up averaged penny right there 1976 Rang up as a 94, usually pennies are 91, 92. Not sure why, nothing else in the hole. It wasn't double stacked or anything like that. Nothing else in the hole. We'll see what it is, 93, 94, sounds good, kinda deep. A memorial 1970 something it was pretty deep too man come on can't catch a break today i'm finding deep stuff deeper than i usually dig i've dug a lot of clad a couple nickels oops, a couple nickels actually um that came up real loud nickels are pretty good on this day as too i gotta admit um i know that's a cliche thing to say oh nickels sound really good on this machine it is but yeah they really stand out in my opinion um in the park mode and general mode that's what i'm messing with so far not too impressed with the screw cap work yet i'm digging a i mean i must have dug 20 25 of them already today and I can't figure them out. They look great on the XY screen. I have not dug a single crown cap today, but I've just dug more than a frustrating amount of screw caps, aluminum screw caps that are ringing way high for some reason. So not a fan of that. All right, guys, gonna call it a day. My buddy Javier found two Wheaties, he said. No silver for me or him, no gold, nothing like that. Here's a shot of the children's playground. Never hunted that. Don't know what's in there but a good day with the dais not fantastic i gotta figure out the screw caps that was frustrating not a big fan of the fan of the headphones i will uh talk about that during the review video not a fan of those folding behind the head type headphones at all but that might be a personal preference i'll touch base on things like that during the review video a couple more videos coming up before that happens though hope you enjoy these the hunter gt signing off i will see you on the next video.